Hello, Hello Siri. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> There's five of us, <laughs> and we're from a town called Norrköping in Sweden, and we uh, are filmmakers and making films together, and we kind of have all the major abilities and parts to do a film uh, around our table. So we direct, produce, do cinema photography, uh, production design, we do editing, we do uh, sound design, uh, visual effects, we do practical effects. Uh, uh, so we kind of do everything and we have uh, our composer Gustav Spetz is uh, having his studio in our basement in an old shelter and so we're working very closely to him so uh, yeah that's that's us and we make films together <laughs> Uh, it's a lot of discussions, <laughs> uh, arguments, yeah, arguments, and we we we, we actually we uh, we're very good friends from the beginning, and we're still very good friends. We've been having this uh, since we were 19, uh, the company, and um, we are still friends. And uh, of course, sometimes there's a lot of argues, but uh, in the end, the best idea wins, and what's best for the film, and and, and so on. We have a lot of influence. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his uh, name. Is Denis uh, de Villa? Yeah, uh, Denis. Yeah, exactly. Denis. He's uh, just such a genius, and we love a lot of his films. Uh, and that has been a lot uh, big inspiration to this film. And uh, also the cinema photographer Roger Deakins. They have been working a lot together, uh, and uh, he has also been doing a lot of other films, everything from like Skyfall and. Uh, no control man and different kind of films. So we love, really love those guys. And also uh, the movie Drive, uh, especially Ryan Gosling's character there, that is kind of an anti-hero. That has been a huge inspiration for the character Alex uh, in The Unthinkable, who's also like an anti-hero, you can say. It's more humanistic, you can say. We, we never set out to do a political movie. Uh, the theme we've been working with is uh, say things before it's too late, because it's very character-driven, and uh, we follow Alex, and we follow his father, and we see why Alex becomes the person he does is because his father never shows any emotions, or he shows emotion, but it's anger, and uh, Alex never gets a tool to like express himself, and. That's why he's, he becomes very cynical and bitter and things like that. When we created this film, we kind of wanted the enemy to be very, very mysterious. Uh, and you shouldn't know who it is uh, through the movie and maybe you have some clues. That was the most likely scenario yeah. that if, if we wanted to keep it realistic, that. Uh, so that's why Putin's in there. Yeah, I mean, we, we follow Alex uh, when he's young, when he's 16 years. Uh, and uh, he's got a lot of emotions, but he's an introvert person. And uh, sadly, he never gets the chance to express those emotions because of his parents being the way they are. They never give him a chance. Uh, but he finds the love to music and he also finds the love to Anna at the same time. But uh, because of what he gets from home, he, he doesn't 
express that and uh, the chance slips out of his hands and uh, we follow him again 12 years later and uh, sadly he's become this uh, bitter and cynical person with this wall uh, in front of him so uh, he um, the war situation forces him back uh, to his home uh, town and that's when he um, meets Anna again and that's when he meets his father so you can say that the outer threat finally pushes him to say something, which he does, but uh, sadly, I don't know how much we should spoil, but yeah. Yeah, I can. we're somehow really good in cheating, and we love to cheat, and uh, this whole project is like a big cheat. And uh, <laughs> uh, in, all, in all ways, from the beginning to the end, we, we are trying to find different ways, because if you kind of read the script and you leave it to a, uh, a producer and uh, yeah, ask, right. ask yeah. that person yeah. to, to calculate, they say, this is impossible. Yeah. And when we try to finance the film, people said, this is impossible to do what you are going to do. Um, but we, there's somehow we, we are five individuals in Crazy Pictures with a lot of uh, knowledge. So we could somehow, when we have written a script and developing the film, we could think about uh, very early how to solve uh, production things. Uh, me as an actor p portraying Alex in two different ages, I lost uh, 20 kilos for the first part and then I gained 12 kilos in three months. And that was my part, but everybody has done like that kind of sacrifice for this movie in their part. So everybody's just been pushing themselves, I think. Uh, the cars, we have a, a scene on the bridge, kind of the most uh, maybe hardest <laughs> scene in the whole film to do. Uh, and we are in the middle of central Stockholm and that was like impossible. That was impossible <laughs> to film there uh, for real. So we uh, took an airport, uh, an closed military airport, and we painted uh, the same uh, lines as uh, the real bridge. Uh, and uh, we did all the scenes on that bridge, uh, on that airport, and then we did a set extension and uh, made um, like the, the area around uh, in post-production. But all the, um, the car crashes and everything there were for real, and, and it's of course it's yeah, hard. Yeah, but the, these crazy <laughs> guys, they rebuilt <laughs> actual cars as uh, remote control, like, like uh, toy cars, and, and crashed them, so yeah. it was safe. But there yeah, and it's no safe and it's actually pretty cheap <laughs> 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 because you don't need a stuntman and uh, and all these kind of things. So.